Hi everyone, and today we're going to be looking at both Blender and FreeCAD and understanding how reference images are imported and scaled so you can use something like a photo reference or a drawing reference in your modeling. Now they do differ between the two packages. If we look at something like FreeCAD, we'll use the file and import and we we'll import our reference image. So I'm going to import this image here and open it up. Now it automatically comes in on the top plane, like so. And we can change the planes that it's going to be placed upon. View, toggle axis cross. And we can see that there and we just right click and transform and we can rotate that onto whatever plane we want. So in Blender, the process is very similar. We can come up to add, image, and reference and then select the image that we want to import but as you can see the image has been aligned with our viewpoint so if I come over to this side add image and reference and select the image load reference you can see how that's been aligned from where we're looking at the actual object itself that's not what we want. So what we have to do is let's take all those and delete them. Is actually get us in, self into a position, let's say clicking on the Z, where we want to import the image and align it to that plane. Add image reference and then pick the reference image. Now that's aligned to that plane. In both packages, we can actually drag in the reference as well, drag in that reference image. So let's come in and drag the reference image in. So let's take this one and drag it onto Blender. And you can see it's been aligned with the plane that we're on. If I click on Z and drag that in again, let's drag in something different like this one. You can see how that's aligned there. In FreeCAD, it's the same. Add the image, but it's aligned along the plane. So you can see those are flashing because they're on both on the same plane. If I hit top, one will vanish. And that's because one is within the other. So we need to come in and actually come into the placement and just move them along the position slightly. So I've got one millimeter along the Z and I can move that above. Let's look at scale in the image now. now with FreeCAD, all we have to do is come over to the left-hand side, double click on the image, and we've got this Calibrate. If I click Calibrate, I can take, say, let's take this corner here and pull a measurement going across here. That scale this, see the measurement sitting there, and scale it to 100. Just type in 100, hit enter. This image is now scaled. To 100 millimeters long. Hit OK. And then we can start tracing in here, tracing over the image, adding geometry just by creating a sketch upon that. Let's see how we do this in Blender. So, how do we scale the reference image in Blender? Well, it's reversed. So, we've got the reference image. Now, if I click on it and come down to the object data properties, we can see it's got a size in here. We can increase and decrease the size, but we've got the reference that's inside here in this white space. There's no way to scale this without having some other type of reference in there. So to do that, let's add something that we can scale. So I'm gonna go for basically this square. So I can add a mesh as of a plane and scale the plane to where I want it to be. So the size at the moment is 100 millimeters. So let's say that we wanted to scale it to 120 millimeters. Now I'm working in millimeters here. Let's hit enter. So I've changed my environment to working millimeters and I've got a video on my channel to do that. So we've got that there. Now we've got to scale the image. So let's click on the image. At the moment it's behind the plane. So let's have a look at the depth and place it front. So 
we've got this depth and we can place it default front back etc now i can scale the image so i can do that from the size so we can get this into a ballpark that's say 100 and what i'm going to also do is the opacity i'm going to click on that and bring down the opacity so i can scale this by hand so we've got that there and then we can roll over the image and pull out the corners to get it into the right scale so we can do this and we can basically manipulate this into position so looking at this and that is about roughly what we want so it's a bit different it's a bit more complicated than FreeCAD because we don't have that scaling option there but we can actually get this in scale over in FreeCAD we've also got opacity so I'll double click on that we've got transparency which we can bring down to allow us to do basically the same thing that we've got in Blender the planes here we can flip them onto different planes rather than rotate them And also we've got such things as reverse direction. You can set the width and height. So I hope that's giving you an insight of the differences between importing an image into Blender or FreeCAD to use as reference geometry. In the next CAD Sketcher video, we'll actually use that in our modeling. So I'm going to be using reference material and using that to create our model by sketching upon that reference material. I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope to see you again soon. If you're enjoying these videos and you would like to support the channel, then you can do so via my Ko-Fi page. That's at ko-fi.com forward slash MJ3D Studio. Any donations will be used to help to span the channel. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again soon.